Musicians have been able to read sheet music for centuries, but only recently have computers been able to read sheet music, thanks to something known as MIDI, Musical Instrument Digital Interface. And in the last 10 years, it has fundamentally changed the way we make music. Uh, a couple scratches. And of course, the trigger shoes. Yes, these shoes are contributing to the sound. They're equipped with switches wired to this electronic drum set. Or is it a synthesizer? This kind of confusion is becoming commonplace in the world of music. The Steinways and the Fenders of the world are pretty daunting competition for newcomers in instrument manufacturing. So they're forced to march to the beat of a different synthesizer. It's a combination of a guitar and a piano and uh, play them simultaneously in order to get a very tight-knit mesh sound that you couldn't get with, uh, with two players. Wait a minute, you only have two hands. How can you play them simultaneously? These industrious musicians are changing the tune of the traditionalist. If I'm going to reach an octave on one uh, one row, I can't do it, right? right? And so what you do is you hit the duplicate of that key, which is here, or another duplicate, which is here. But you can't do that on a piano. You can't do that without a lot of practice. And something I could use a little more practice on, the Hammer Jammer, the latest guitar accoustrement. Okay, I could get used to hitting these. Even the simplest old harmonica is being updated. The, uh, the initial advantage of this type over this is that uh, you have a complete chromatic scale. This is actually two harmonicas in one, one sandwiched on top of the other. Get it, Rick. Okay. Of course, the computer has played a tremendous role in all these changes, and the distinction between instrument and computer, and computer and musician, is getting blurrier and blurrier. You probably know that if you type or scan some text into a computer, you can change the typeface, you can change the size. Well, if you scan in music now, not only can you change the size, you can change the tempo, you can change the instruments. The composer might have written it for oboe and harmonica, but if you want guitar and piano, just press a key. Bingo. Bingo, and there they are. It's all possible because of MIDI, a standard interface language for digitizing music. What it's doing is looking at these black and white dots and determining that those have musical content. That's amazing. Most human musicians can't read this. Right, right. <laughs> But the most high-tech has got to be this. It might look like I'm about to lose my composure under shock treatment, but actually, I'm about to compose. Well, it can not only accept brain waves, but four other channels from your body, including muscle activity, heart rate, and uh, galvanic skin response, otherwise known as GSR. Let's go in for a closer look. Metabolic Mozart? But are these advancements really improving music? For those who feel we should get back to basics, one of the most exciting new musical accessories is actually 50 years old. To most audiophiles, the best sound still comes not from transistors, but vacuum tubes. And the Russian tubes, Sovtech, are once again available in the U.S. Well, if I go to, like, a Guns N' Roses or an ACDC concert, I might be listening to Russian tubes? Yes. <laughs> For a lot of rockers, that's music to the ear. In the world of electronic music, first came synthesizers that made sort of sometimes artificially sounding music. Then came samplers that recorded a real instrument and just repeated it each time you hit a key. And now comes the virtual music the virtual acoustic synthesizer from Yamaha that is kind of like a uh, flight simulator for instruments. Avery Burdett is here to try to explain this for us. You say it's sort of like what an airplane does in a flight simulator, this does for an instrument? In, in the physical modeling world of the technology involved here, we have pressure activated instruments and control over things like embouchure and growl and throat and scream so that we can 
e express with uh, the virtual instruments here much like an acoustic instrument. So you should be able to make an instrument that doesn't exist, for instance. See, that kind of trumpet stuff is tough to do with a synthesizer, an ordinary synthesizer. It's impossible to do in an ordinary synthesizer. How about a hybrid, a cross between two instruments? Um, uh, putting a mouthpiece, a flute mouthpiece on a trumpet and then bowing it. <laughs> okay, then you should be able to come up with a uh, instrument that doesn't even exist. A hundred foot pipe. Yow. Heavy metal crowd will love this one. So this is a physical modeler, it's not just a sampler or a synthesizer. It's kind of a musical instrument simulator that uh, allows us to go in and create new instruments and new levels of expression. And new levels of difficulty for a guy like me to learn. Take it home, Avery. The Virtual Acoustic Synthesizer from Yamaha.